we have to talk about Paul Pelosi. <laughs> Here we go. Everybody at this point already <laughs> knows what's going on. So I think it's funnier to just talk about the memes. I, I don't know what you think. No, no, throw the memes on there. Then <laughs> afterwards, I mean, it's, it's apparently so bad. I mean, the funniest thing about this whole thing is that, of course, these are this happened to Democrats, and the dude was an illegal alien on an overstate visa. David DePape, I believe, is his name. Yep. And one of the more interesting things that I noticed is that if you go down here, I mean, of course, the first thing that came out here, attack on Nancy Pelosi's husband follows years of the GOP demonizing her. Their immediate thing They're was... They're spinning it to the right. MAGA, it's all their fault, yeah. blah, blah, blah. We knew that was going to happen. But if you go yeah. down here, somebody who's actually doing journalism has a really good take on the whole thing. Doing the work the media should be doing. Author and researcher Michael Schellenberger accumulated a number of quotes from DePape's neighbors that seem to point to a far more plausible explanation. What I know about the family is that they're very radical activists. They seem very left. They're all about the BLM movement, yep. LGBTQ, WTF, LOL, pride, but they're very detached from reality. No. You, you mean to tell me that the average leftoid has no idea what the hell is going on? Shocker. <laughs> <laughs> Among those things, their neighbors also said, homeless drug addict, paranoid and psychotic, a local nudist in Berkeley or lived with a local nudist in Berkeley, moved out into a broken-down camper van and lived in a yellow school bus on the street filled with refuse similar to homeless encampments. Jesus. A co-worker of DePape's claimed that he used hard drugs and believed that he talked to angels. Oh, because that's not crazy. These facts and more led Schellenberger to conclude DePape is not a microcosm of the political psychosis gripping America in general. He's a microcosm of the drug-induced psychosis gripping the West Coast in particular. But the, but look look, the, to Pelosi, her house has had uh, you know people protesting in the past. Yeah, and they had all kinds of security upgrades. Yep. Where the fuck are the security camera? Where's the footage? That is one thing that among the memes, I also have a couple of tweets that are very interesting. So you'll love this. But uh, mm. the the memes are just they're so choice. <laughs> <laughs> Possible modifications to a scary assault weapon is the Pelosi hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Love that here. Uh, here's the Dark Maga Bros versus Paul Pelosi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Where's the hammer aisle? <laughs> I love how he's got a Jussie on, on his underpants. Hammer, <laughs> tactical hammer and assault hammer. That's a good one. I like that. A home oh. invader costume <laughs> includes oh, two hammers, God. underwear, gay pride, weed flag, Berkeley stands united against hate sign, and lube. Oh, my God. Nice. They should have put an <laughs> Astroglide there. They really should. You could drive a Cadillac into a doghouse with that shit. Uh, actual footage of the Paul Pelosi attack colorized, which includes his attacker, Paul Pelosi, and the unknown third person who led in the police. Uh, speaking of which, that's a really important thing that we need to bring up here. Bing. Politico accused Republicans of spreading baseless conspiracies about Paul Pelosi because they repeated a report from Politico. And it was specifically about the unknown third person who let the cops in. Yeah. Well, it, oh, my God. Wow. And is Politico Just, NewsGuard wow. certified? Yes, they are. Okay, so people are getting hammered for quoting something that's NewsGuard yep. certified. Yeah. This is the original report here. It says, Officers arrived at the house, knocked on the front door, and were led inside by an unknown person. They discovered DePape and Pelosi struggling for a hammer. And after they instructed him to drop the weapon, Scott said DePape took the hammer and violently attacked Pelosi. And then a few uh -huh. minutes later, they're talking about when Trump starts bringing this up, Charlie Kirk, among those baseless claims that a third person answered the door when police arrived at the Pelosi home... Wow. Well, let's hope it shows up in the police reports. It, it'll and it might. It, they're going to. They're going to suppress them. Yeah. You know oh, I know they are. But they're going to her house. The, those cops are going to have the body cameras on. They're not going to release that footage. Yeah. But, but to Politico, I say this. I award you no points. <laughs> and may God have mercy. Listen, on I, I'm telling you right now. In all of the <laughs> alphabet agencies, there's a large majority of people who are seeing all the political rhetoric and horseshit. Yep. They're going to leak that shit. It's going to mm -hmm. get leaked. 
I hope they do. I hope they do, too. This is a really bizarre story, and the more you find out about it, like the fact that the glass appears to be broken from the inside of the house. <laughs> oh, it was totally, you know, it was totally a break-in. Well, then why is the window glass on the outside? All right, now hang on. This is not unheard of. A lot of people will break break the glass and then have a glove or something and pull the glass out to get to like a latch. Yeah. Because they don't want to stick their arm in there and get a an, a deep cut. But the dude was in his underwear. I, I'm just, <laughs> listen, I am not telling, I am just giving you the fact that that can happen. I don't think he came prepared for such a thing. <laughs> Unless he's packing much more than a squirrel right, down there. He didn't walk there in his underwear. Well, he probably wound up in his underwear because of some of the memes that we're going to be yeah, talking yes, about here in right. just a second. So you're going to enjoy this. Ah. So after, after this one, which I'm still trying to scrub out of my brain, <laughs> any plans for tonight? I think I'll stay home and get hammered. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Nancy? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Paul Pelosi crime scene video. I like that one. Oh, Police walking into Paul and Nancy Pelosi's home. <laughs> it was him, officer. <laughs> Image from inside the Pelosi house oh before it got God. crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. First rule of Hammer Club is there's no talking about Hammer Club. <sighs> Paul Pelosi costume. I'm sure there were a few people out there dressed like that yesterday. Oh, my God. No. Oh, uh, yes, officer. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> I'm being attacked. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the best one. Yeah, Where's Nancy? <laughs> that one could be a Billy Von Baum if it didn't wasn't credited to some blonde moment person. Oh God! Oh, Paul Pelosi waiting for his tacker to show up. That's disgusting. Now this yeah, is yeah, this is one of my favorite ones here. This is a tweet from Cat Turd. I hope nobody with two hammers with a manifesto wearing only underwear gets past my fenced-in property, sneaks by my six alert dogs, breaks my window, hands me a hammer, and we get into a hammer fight tonight. <laughs> like you said, he probably didn't show up there like that, which means that he got undressed on the property. Correct. I wonder why. Yeah. I mean, if you're a burglar and you want to break into a, a politician's home to hit her with a hammer, are you going to show up in your underwear? No, I already talked about this in uh, the supporter stream. Yeah. When they're, they're like, they're trying to pin this on the right. Of course they are. You're going to know it is the right because when and if they get pushed to the breaking point. It's not going to be some wacko psycho showing up. No, it's going It'll to be, be surgical. Precise, mm. surgical, absolutely lethal. Damn right. Attack. Because uh, more people on the right I went into the military, and we yep. just spent over two decades at war. Mm-hmm. So they know what the fuck they're doing. Yeah. Now, I hope that doesn't happen. Yeah. And the new enlisted are not going to have the same fighting prowess as the veterans. No, no. And uh, actually, I'm, I'm putting together an uh, open letter to the military that's going to be released. It's being depopped right now. Of course it is. Because <laughs> it's atrocious. <laughs> but, uh, you know. You know that well, that meme of uh, Ken Jeong when he was on Community looking at the really tiny piece of paper like this? Yeah. I should make one of, it, of me doing that. You know, just put my face on Ken Jeong with, like, me trying to depop pop script. <laughs> ah, what it's kind of what it's like. Eh, whatever. I write, I write good stories, though. So. Now, this one, I'm not sure if this is true or not, but obviously this got around enough. I haven't heard anything official about DePape in this regard. So take this with a grain of salt, even though it is hilarious. Now, this is just rumor control. Don't, yes. don't sue us. DePape tells investigators that he and Pelosi were engaging in gay sex and had an argument over drugs. Pelosi's are refusing to turn over the surveillance video of their home, fueling more speculation of uh, monkey butt. If you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. DePape has arrests for male prostitution. So, you know, uh, Mr. Yeesh. Pelosi could be a download, a download Dan. He could be. And if you had to go home to, you know, Michael Jackson's corpse 2.0, <laughs> you, you know, resuscitated <laughs> by a car battery and well wishes, you might consider. You know what have been actually putting more, from the rough too. more funny <laughs> or funnier what? if a Sam showed up. And got caught during all this stuff. A Sam? A Sir Ma'am. Oh. oh. Sam. So Gretchen Whitmer shows up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she might enjoy something like this, considering she is stretching Gretchen. 
<laughs> That's the hammer used on Mr. Pelosi. Look, I don't even know what kind of hammer that is. And this one's from our own Jimmy Bones. I did not have sexual relations with that illegal hammer wielding nudist hippie. And he didn't he just get a DWI getting yes, pulled he over did. sometime after one in the morning? And it was completely swept under the rug, just like this is gonna be. Yeah. Shocker. And of course there's the Pelosi assault hammer taken as evidence. That is disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> that is very disturbing. It's got three different modes that run at different speeds. And I'm telling you right now, if that is a real product, it was <laughs> probably made that way so it didn't look like a panas. A panas, yes. <laughs> and if you buy the special deluxe version, it'll charge your phone. <laughs> so your gay lover can cry in the corner and tape you while you're getting railroaded by Jamal in his 14-foot erection. Yeah, well, oh my, my. Watch out for that, that peen pus, man. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Pelosi, where are all the bruises from? Did you get hit with a hammer? No. Uh, Jamal. I got peeny puss. He, uh, his phone rang and he turned around too fast. <laughs> I got a big chorizo on my eye now. <laughs> and that was God. just the tip. <laughs> God. <laughs> Welcome to life in 2022, ladies and germs. Dude, and we're fucked. <laughs> we're, we're fucked, man. We're Definitely. fucked. Definitely. Definitely. But if anybody does have any sort of... Uh, confirmation about the whole male prostitution angle that, that could lend some credence to this, please send it our way because I'm, I'm really curious. Yeah. We, we don't have nearly as many answers about this as we should. Watch Grunt Speak live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonculus.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the Meat Gazer box.